Okay, well, we know Grand Rapids is becoming a, the national and international focus of the art community. You know, it, it happens especially during the uh, few week stretch of Art Prize. And thanks to the Grand Rapids Art Museum, you can see significant and beautiful art all year round. And right now, there is a very, very special exhibition that's on display. I recently had the chance to get a sneak peek at the Robert Rauschenberg exhibition, one of the most important artists of the 20th century and beyond. We've got an amazing opportunity to see behind the scenes at one of the newest exhibitions, one of the most unique exhibitions at the Grand Rapids Art Museum with Dana Fries Hansen, the director here. And Dana, tell us about the works of Robert Rauschenberg. This is an incredible opportunity. Well, the Grand Rapids Art Museum is so thrilled to be able to present three different and distinct exhibitions. Two of them start in February, and the third starts in March, and all of them go through May 20th. Rauschenberg was an amazingly innovative American artists. Some say he was one of the most important artists of the 20th century in the way that he took so many different medias and materials and images of America and the things that are so important in our in our culture, especially since the 60s. Multicultural diversity, the city, technology, the space program, all of these areas, all of these territories were fair game for him. He was such a voracious artist. He used mixed media images. He used very gestural painting and arrangements and so in this exhibition and the three different parts you'll find all different kinds of things it's almost I'm kind of surprised there's not a kitchen sink here because he was a kind of artist who would pull everything together and make juxtapositions and um, gestures and he had such a great eye for for contemporary life and this is really unique for the glam to be able to have this exhibition because this is one that has r rarely been seen exactly in fact there's no never been a Robert Rauschenberg exhibition like this in, in Michigan. And the third part, the Synapsis Shuffle, which will begin in March, is an exhibition that's coming from the collection of the Whitney Museum of American Art. We're very lucky to have a trustee who um, is on our board and on their board. And so that exhibition, Synapsis Shuffle, has been shown in New York and in Paris, and now it comes to Grand Rapids. It's the first time that people will get to see it in this area, and it, it's a fantastic show that's different every time. Once again, great opportun opportunities here at the Graham. Rick Axum is the senior curator of this great exhibition, so tell us about what we can see specifically in these works of art. Well, you're looking at prints and multiples that Rauschenberg made from 67 up until the early 21st century, and he really was boundary busting uh, with the media he worked in. I mean, he could, for example, behind us as a, as a print. I mean, you think that, that's not a Rembrandt etching. I mean, here he's transferred photographs of two vintage 30s cars and a Greek sculpture onto silk taffeta and chiffon. And this is not a work that's framed, but it's, it, it, it's, it sags, it billows in the wind. Um, this is an example of how he could stretch the media and push them and reconceive the media. Is it important for us to remember, too, the time period? I mean, it was really before technology, no Photoshop, no computer generation. Oh, right. I mean, this guy was way ahead of his time. Oh, he was, he was fascinated with technology. In fact, uh, in 1969, NASA invited him to witness the uh, Apollo 11 launch because they thought then, he was already internationally known by 69, that he was the American artist most interested in technology. And so he responded to the Apollo 11 events. You'll see in the show uh, a print called Sky Garden from the Stone Moon series, which shows the uh, Apollo 5 rocket lifting off, which he witnessed directly. D engineering diagrams, uh, uh, he was fascinated by technology. And then the participatory oh, yes. level I mean, to this, too. Terry, I mean, a work of art. I mean, uh, who has ever heard of a work of art that you can sit in, pull on, light up, rearrange? Um, there's a chair here that you can sit in. And experience the Orhea Borealis. Yeah. Uh, there are windows uh, that you can pull shades up and down, changing the work of art. Um, this is how experimental and wonderfully was an extended boundaries of art. Fantastic, and of course, extending those boundaries of art right here in Grand Rapids at the Graham through the middle of May.
amazing. Yeah, it's, it is wonderful. And some of those works of art, there's a part of the exhibition that's actually mm -hmm. interactive. You get to help create the pieces. It really is a wonderful opportunity, especially if you haven't visited the Graham quite yet. Yeah, and just as a little incentive to go maybe on the weekends, they do have that Saturday program where families can go in and it's really catered to kids and you can go downstairs at the Graham and they take whatever exhibition is going, which is the Rauschenberg right now, and do projects that are very similar to that type of medium. So go there, see the exhibition, get your kids hands dirty, they have some snacks there. Sounds like a good way to spend a Saturday afternoon. I, I know you love your family membership because you've been able I to do. get Coco, who's now three, really interested and engaged in arts at such a young age. Yeah, why not take them there early and say, you know, these are some beautiful things that you just need to know about to en enrich your life and your mind. Absolutely.